Hello guys and welcome to my channel to another exciting Super Sunday video. Check the latest Super Sunday videos of mine where I explained my P3D settings and subscribe to my channel if you want to be informed with my further interesting videos. But today I will have a quick guide for new Airbus A320 pilots, how to start with the flight from AP running till the pushback procedure. But you can also be experienced A320 pilot and take a look at the video as here I will capture just the main parts of starting the flight. And now let's get started. So to start with uh, we need to have Airbus A320 configured with at least APU running and with at least ADRS in aligned position so that means they are set to navigation. And uh, now we can start with our uh, MCDU or simply Airbus computer logic management. Now the first thing to follow is calculating the flight and the route planning. For this phase I will use Simbrief. The link to Simbrief is in the description and with the word saying it is that uh, Simbrief is uh, free of charge so you can log in for free. And then after opening the SIM brief, go to Dispatch under the Dispatch system and uh, click Create a new flight plan. And uh, the flight uh, plan should look uh, something like this. Now when you have this flight plan opened, the uh, next thing you have to do is inserting all the information. So in the first line you need to insert the airline, the flight number, the departure which is Ljubljana, uh, the arriving airport which is Munich and the uh, alternate which is Frankfurt for me then the date and departure time then you can insert uh, your aircraft type which is uh, Airbus A320 for mine and you can also insert any other uh, aircraft uh, which is in the system after that uh, you the, need the thing you need to insert in the advanced aircraft options is the ATC call sign and uh, there are some optional entries, uh, which is the schedule time and route, the departure runway and the arriving runway, then the taxi out and taxi in uh, timing, the extra fuel that you'll take, and you need to insert the altitude, then the passengers, cargo and zero fuel weight, and uh, you can also insert your captain name, and that, that is all about the calculations. And then going to route planning under the route line, uh, then you have prescribed uh, routes on the right section, and on the left section you insert uh, your route you want, and then you need to analyze it, and you can also perform an IFPS validation if you want to have uh, the route validated by the European standards. When inserting all the needed information go to the top to the generate OFP button and click it so you will generate the flight plan um, and uh, all the flight briefings uh, for your flight. And now after some time your operational flight plan is uh, now ready for you and you can go through the all information and at the end uh, there is the whole um, operational flight plan listed just for you. The old things you need to consider um, into the MCDU are now listed in your operational flight plan and now we'll together go through and uh, insert all the information into the MCDU for our flight from Ljubljana to Munich. Now we'll take a look again back in the Airbus cockpit. Uh, the first thing we need to do is uh, going to the MCDU section so here are the MCDU of the captain and here is the MCDU of the first officer. Uh, now what we need to do uh, is going to the init page. This is the first page you need to uh, open if you want to plan the flight. Now you need to insert the departure um, airport and the arriving airport in this format. And uh, flight number which is Adria 108 and then the costing index which is probably about 35 to 40 and the cruising flight level which is the flight level we entered into the flight plan and it is uh, flight level 
240. Now we need to go under the flight plan section. Here we will insert the core root uh, that we inserted also in the flight plan. So, so the first things first we need to go under Ljubljana, Lima Juliet, Lima Juliet, then departure. We have a runway 1-2 as in the flight plan and we'll take uh, gimmicks to delta departure and we need to insert this information and now we have the departure set in our MCDU. Now the next thing we need to follow is uh, after gimmicks we'll follow the routes uh, or the directs to different points and by that we'll go to the latest point which is by NAPSA and at NAPSA we'll start with the arrival to the Munich. So the route is here on the right side and I will now include the information. So after gimmicks we are direct to Rasta, we'll include uh, Rasta here and click below the gimmicks to the flight plan discontinuity. Further we'll include the Red Bull point and we'll click below the Rasta and we will insert and now we'll need to go into the Red Bull so we'll continue via Airways um, to Napsa and we'll continue on the Air Airway um, Quebec 112 and we'll go to Napsa We have the whole route included, but now the last thing we have to do is um, to insert the arrival and so for that we need to click on Eco Delta Delta Mike, which is Munich, the, and then the arrival. As we said, we'll use ILS of runway 08 right, so click ILS 08 right, and then we'll cycle through to find NAPSA to Alpha arrival. Here it is, we'll click that and also we can use the transition uh, which is NAPSA08 which uh, is our nav transition so we'll make that transition in Munich and then as also we need to insert that and after that we can take a look if we have any flight plan discontinuities through the flight plan and here it is and we need to clear all these flight plan discontinuities. And now moving on to the first officer uh, MCDU. Here we'll go after the options section and now we'll fill up the aircraft with the, all the information we have from the operational flight plan. So first thing uh, we need to add the fuel. On the left side you can now see the planned fuel section the, all the fuel we need to have, the block fuel is 6710 and this is the fuel now loaded into our aircraft and now we'll need to go under the pilot and we'll insert the zero fuel weight into the um, system so we'll have the all payload uh, on our aircraft and the zero fuel weight for our aircraft today is 58.3. <coughs> now moving on again to the left captain MCDU under the init. And here you need to go to the next page. Here you need to include the zero fuel weight by pressing double on the button. And then the block fuel, you need to insert the block fuel you entered into the aircraft. So this is 6.7. And now we have the takeoff weight, and by this takeoff weight, we'll uh, measure and calculate all the departure speeds. Write down the takeoff weight, uh, which is 64.8 tons. So we'll calculate the V speeds of uh, V1, V2, and V rotate. Now I'll go to the special online uh, calculator which is mainly for uh, Airbus aircraft and here I will plan um, the takeoff speeds 
and you can also check in the description where this uh, system is also included so click on the link and uh, you'll be on this website and uh, you can also insert the information as I have and here we will use Airbus A310 aircraft with the engines you have then use metric units the origin is Lima Juliet Lima Juliet aircraft and you can press the meter by the Lima Juliet Lima Juliet so you'll get all the meter information uh, for this airport then we'll use flaps 1 plus F and then the packs will be on by the departure and no anti-ice is needed as and also runway is dry then moving on to the right column here we need to insert now the takeoff weight as we said which is 64.8 but here you need to include 64800 because this is in kilos and then also insert the runway we are departing and also by the runway you can uh, choose the intersection from where we're departing so but we'll be departing from the full runway and by that that is all information you need and by far down you now click the calculate button and all the flex temperatures and takeoff speeds will be calculated just for you now we have the speeds and the flex temperatures we'll go again to the aircraft and now we'll take a look at the performance page here the performance and um, we'll insert all the information needed and we'll provide by the all the information we got from the online browser uh, calculator system which is now displayed on the right so the V1 is 153 the V rotate is 153 and the V1 is 145 the flaps we're using is flaps 1 and the flex temperature is 59 degrees so at this time we have everything ready for the engine start as we have everything in the MCDU so in the central computer you can also see on the navigation display that our route is now displayed and the takeoff speeds are now inserted here also on the primary fly display and now we can close our doors and turn on the fuel pumps and then if we are flying online we can also um, call the ATC for the pushback and startup procedure and by that as we have APU running uh, we can also start the engines and uh, start with our flight so now let's assume that we are cleared for pushback and cleared for startup we'll turn on the pumps and we'll turn on the APU bleed and the beacon light so the all the ground vehicles will know that we are starting our engines here we can see that the APU is running as I said now you can start with the pushback and the engine starting and then continue with the flight and hope you like this uh, quick guide about Airbus A220 starting leave a like or comment on your thoughts and see you in the next Super Sunday video Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Bye bye, see you soon.